The next five minutes will be the best five minutes of your week. So if you are like most everyone else in the world, and you probably are, then you've seen at least one of those YouTube videos about life hacks. Yeah, like where they teach you how to repurpose your junk and turn it into different junk. Right? Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, exactly. Those ones where they show you what they claim is a clever way to make your life easier. Yeah, I don't know sometimes. Most of the ones I've seen are pretty lame. Like, why would I want to make a purse out of an old bra? You know right. what I mean? Like, not, not that's not going to fit want. my movie snacks. No. I, I like lots more popcorn than that will hold. Yeah. So, so um, most of them are pretty goofy, but there are actually some pretty clever ones. And so this week, we are going to spend some time to show you the best hacks that we found on the internet. Yeah. You'll never have to watch Trim Trim again. Next. <laughs> Everybody gets clothes from the store and they have those cheesy oh, yeah. clothes hangers on yeah, them, you know, yeah, yeah, with yeah. the clips, with the little metal and things that slip up and down. And sometimes even asks you, like, do you want the hanger? Right. Always say yes. Take the hanger. When you get to the house, do this with it, right? So you see, you take the ends off and once you snap those off, I mean, basically they're pre-made chip clips. You can Which is awesome. put them on bags of stuff. Who or doesn't need a chip clip? Put it on your lip, like have contests we to see how many on your ear. Yeah. House. So think back to the day, maybe not so much now in high school, but like back in grade school, when your teacher would have you write those multiplication facts 800 times. Or when you got in trouble a lot and had to write lines. Yeah, well. Do they do that anymore, so? I don't, I don't think so, but see, there's this clever uh, hack where you can stack multiple pens together and then you just write, and as you write on one line, it writes four at a time. Or six, or however many pens you think it's you can jam awesome. together. Get your homework done in a fraction of the time. Yeah, I think four is kind of the the sweet yeah, spot. You, you, you can, can try six. Four. I don't know. Who knows? This next thing is for when you're at work or at school and you have someone who is constantly taking your food out of the fridge. Okay. These are mold spot plastic bags. They sell these on Amazon pre-made with moldy spots on them. You can also make your own moldy bags if you just like get a sharpie kind of maybe a green and then a black over the top make it look like that sandwich has been sitting in there way too long and then nobody will steal your stuff well this is great for all of those people who have siblings that like to steal their leftovers that they exactly. were saving like exactly your siblings aren't going to touch it anymore they're gonna they might throw it away though so that might be a downside mm. to it this next one um i don't well maybe this isn't as big of a problem for you but I hate when I have to sit down on a toilet seat and it's cold. And it's cold, yeah. So we found this hack. If you have some tube socks, you can slide the tube socks on the toilet seat and no more cold tushy. Yeah. Now, down here in the south, uh, that's not as much of a problem. Yeah. But if you live north of, I don't know, Dallas, you probably want, at some point, want to get your tushy warm when you sit down to poo. So uh, try it out. You know how sometimes when you screw something in and the hole gets wobbled out and the screw just keeps falling out of the hole? Yeah, I hate that. Okay, so yeah. there's a way to fix that, and this is how. Nice. Pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. We love to eat strawberries at our house, but... Yeah, we do. Nobody likes that... Especially know, my daughter. She that, eats like a whole carton of them. The green and then that annoying white core that goes through the middle. Oh, the nasty so, part that nobody eats. Yeah, you yeah. just want the nice red part. Throw it away. So, we found this hack where you can use a straw and you poke it into the strawberry and you can actually core the strawberry so that all you have is that delicious part that you want to eat and the rest stays in that straw. Nice. Yeah. Quick and easy. Yeah. Ice cubes made out of your favorite beverage. Okay. So if you're okay. drinking Coke, you can literally pour a Coke in an ice cube mold, put it in the freezer. Do people even have ice cube molds anymore? Well, they can. That's why we're telling them this, okay. so they can go buy one. Get an ice cube mold. Yeah, get an ice cube mold, pour your favorite drink in there, let it freeze. When it's done, take it out, pour a big glass of your favorite drink, and add ice cubes made out of the same drink. So when it thaws, it's all the same drink. It doesn't water down. It's awesome. You can do that. This is my favorite example. You can use iced tea with ice cubes you see okay you see I, what I, I did there I, I see what you did there 
When you go to the beach or the pool, you can take an empty sunscreen bottle. Yeah. You can cut it open. You can slide your things inside. You would wash it out first though, right? Of course, okay. of course. But then when somebody walks by, they don't know that it has your keys or your money. They just see an empty bottle of sunscreen and who really is gonna bother to steal your sunscreen? This is the best way to get gum out of Absolutely. anything. Don't waste your time with peanut butter or Goo Gone or solvents or whatever it is. No, get you a can of freeze spray. If you don't have that, you can actually use compressed air. Flip it upside down, voila. You know that stuff you used to freeze your siblings with? Same thing. Don't, don't freeze your siblings with that. Freeze, That's the, awful. freeze the gum, scrape it out, you're done. Simple as that. Done. Beautiful. Okay, so this next one is going to solve the problem of your socks being eaten by the dryer when you wash All those them. old maid socks. Yeah. I think at our house, we have a half a basket of socks and they're all old maids. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter. Every time and we match know, socks. I don't know where the other one is. There's a half a basket left. And, and it's I like, hate that. The and then socks? I have to buy more socks. So yeah. you can take one of those little mesh laundry bags, have it on your doorknob somewhere easy in your bedroom. Nice. When you take your socks off, you put both socks in the bag. In the bag. When your bag is full and it's time to wash socks, you zip the bag up, throw it in the washing machine, put it in the dryer, you take it out, all of your socks are there. No more old maids. That's that's about to happen at my house. They stay like, together. Believe it or not, I haven't done this one yet. Um, I'm about to go to we Walmart like to today and buy yes. my kids a Ziploc bag or no Ziploc bag. Don't please don't do not a, Ziploc a Ziploc bag. Doesn't bag. work the same. A, a mesh, mesh bag, laundry bag, and put yes. your socks in there and thank us later. Um, you've been tying your shoes wrong your whole life and you didn't even know it. Mm. Apparently there are two forms of the shoe tie knot. And so I'm gonna demonstrate to you, uh, let me get a shoe here, hold on. Okay, so this is a shoe, right? And so what it I'm gonna do <laughs> is, when you tie your shoes, you were taught as a kid to tie your shoes, cross them over, right? Or some f variant of this, and you do the double cross, right? And you make a loop, yeah, make a loop. And then what you were taught was, to come around and push it through, right? Well, don't do that, go the other way. Go around this way and push it through. And what happens is when you pull, now you notice when I pull, the bow doesn't try to turn sideways. The bow turns this way. This is called the strong form of this knot. It won't come untied. You're welcome. <laughs> Well guys, hopefully some of these tips make your life a little bit easier and uh, well, maybe at least they'll make them a little bit more fun. If you gotta do chores, it might as well be good, right? Yeah. Uh, I think my, my favorite tip is definitely the free spray. Like I said, oh, yeah. I, I use that all the time and it's so much better than peanut butter and all these other home remedies Weird that people stuff. do. Yeah. It's terrible. Um, I, I definitely, we are going to try that sock thing. Oh, it's happening. that's gonna change our that's lives. Hot. Let us know which one of these things is your favorite in the comments below. And uh, make sure to click like and subscribe to our channel while you're there. Yes, and next week we will have more life hacks for you. But the ones next week are a little bit more um, extreme. Advanced. Advanced. See you then.